Hey, it's been a while. I haven't made a video for this channel in a very long time. Uh, partly because I've been working a lot and just because I haven't had any energy towards a lot of creative things like YouTube videos, which is unfortunate because I do love doing this. So soon I'll have more videos, hopefully. Um, I just wanted to make a quick little video just to remind myself um, to be proud of how far I've come. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to this, but I will find myself comparing my life to another person's life. Um, and it's so easy nowadays, I think, with uh, you know Instagram and social media just to get caught up in, in looking at someone's life and saying, wow, they have so much or they've done so many things and they're only this age or something like that. So um, just had this in my head, you know, and as a, especially as a trans person, I feel like I'm constantly comparing my journey to someone else's journey. And it's, that's like a toxic mindset to have because you shouldn't be worrying about someone else's life. You should be worrying about your own life, but I feel like we get so caught up in it nowadays. And I found myself, you know, being very excited for one of these trans persons that I followed on Instagram. They just got their top surgery, and you could tell how excited and just emotional that that procedure is. And I, I can't wait for that moment to happen, but I also know that it's going to take a while just because it's expensive and there's just a lot of, you know, things that you have to do before you can do that, before you can get that procedure done. And I am not saying that I am in any way not, uh, not privileged to be on hormones right now. But it's just I, I felt, you know, excited for them, but also at the same time just sad because I knew it was going to take a while. And I don't know where I'm going with this. But anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say to myself, you know, you have been, you've lived your life from when you were born to age 20 or 21 as someone you weren't, and you've only been living as your authentic self, authentic self, uh, for about two and a half years now. And I just want to to remind myself that that you have come so far, and you shouldn't be frustrated with yourself because you haven't, you know, gotten your name changed or been able to get a top surgery consultation or anything like that. You know, you've done so much for yourself on your own and with help as well. And it's just important to remind yourself, um, regardless of whether you're trans or if you have another experience, if you're cisgender or anything like that, that every little thing that you do needs to be for yourself. And yeah, sometimes we'll get caught up in comparing our lives to someone else's life, but it's important to remind ourselves that we need to be doing things to help ourselves. And now I feel like I'm ranting. I apologize. But yeah, I just wanted to, <laughs> to voice that. That you need to be so proud of yourself. I'm, <laughs> I'm so proud of how far I've come in so little time that it's, it's hard sometimes to understand that I have my whole life ahead of me because I feel like I need things now, especially with social media. I feel like I'm missing out on things um, because I've just become my authentic self, become my authentic self. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to say. And if you're listening to this and you're like, yeah, I can understand that. You know, this doesn't have to be just uh, from a trans person's experience. You know, this can be from anyone's experience. So just remember to, to be patient with yourself and remind yourself that 
you have your whole life ahead of you and you should be so proud of, of how far you've come. So, yeah, that was it. Thanks for listening and until next time.